What's up gamers? It is Friday and that means it's top five time and I'm going to be talking about a game that you guys probably think I talk about way too much. But once I do this list and get it out of my system, I'll try and shut up about it, at least for a little while. So without further ado, here's my top five reasons that somebody needs to make Star Wars Battlefront 3. Five. Let's start with a pretty simple reason. Making Star Wars Battlefront 3 would give Disney a lot of credit with Star Wars fans. Now obviously Disney wouldn't make the game themselves, they're not a game development studio, but they own LucasArts, which means they can give a studio the go ahead to make 3. I mean, come on, they're making a new Star Wars movie and fans aren't even sure that they want that. Not after what happened with the last 3 movies. Making this game would be Disney's way of saying, hey, we hear the fans and we're gonna give them what they want. Are you hearing this, Walt? I know you're not dead and had yourself cryogenically frozen, Make the right decision here with your half-cyborg brain. Four. Number four is advances in video game technology. I mean, Battlefront 2 came out in 2005. That's like eight years ago, and it's still fun to play today. Just think about what Battlefront would look like if it were running on the Frostbite engine from Battlefield 3. F***ing destructible everything. Walker limbs flying around the map, star destroyers exploding all over the place. It would be amazing! Or the Crytek engine! Look how pretty the new Crisis looks. Can you imagine a Battlefront game running on this engine? It would be Star Wars fan heaven. <laughs> it would even make me forget about Episode 1 and that character who shall not be named. Three. Number 3 on my list is the versus campaign mode. You don't see a lot of this in other FPS games, but in Battlefront 2 you could actually fight a war against another player, choosing which planets to attack and what path to take to victory. I want to do this online, in a team setting, where you can vote on where to fight next and get upgrades for winning specific battles. I love when elements of strategy are added into shooters. They could even have a mode where one player designates specific targets to defend or destroy during the battle. Seriously, Disney, hire me. I will quit Smosh Games and design this for you. You can pay me in pepperoni hot pockets, I don't even care. Moving on to number two on the list, gameplay originality. Battlefront 1 and 2 are vastly different from most, not all, I'm not saying they were completely unique, but most shooters like Call of Duty and Medal of Honor just don't have a multiplayer that makes you feel like you're in the middle of a massive battle. The huge amount of AI bots running around gives this game a unique feel that just can't be replicated by most other games. Then you add in monstrous vehicles like the AT-AT and Jedi capable of swinging the entire battle, and you've got a game that's just not equaled anywhere else. One. And number one on the list is the leaked footage. Oh my dear lord, the leaked footage. It shows a starfighter taking off from a planet, flying up through the atmosphere, and entering a massive space battle. The scale of this game was going to be ridiculous. Battlefront 2 only allowed two people to play on either side, but this new game could have easily supported at least 16 man armies. Now I realize that this footage came out a while ago and that this build of the game has probably been scrapped, but it's an awesome idea and this needs to happen. This level of scale just doesn't exist in most multiplayer shooters. And that's what Star Wars is all about really. The huge scale of everything. That feeling of an entire galaxy at war. That's what the new Battlefront could capture perfectly. If only they could make it. So there it is. Please someone out there in game developer land, hear this plea and make this game. Hell, start a Kickstarter campaign if you have to. Just get it done. For those of you out there who are with me on this one, there is a Facebook campaign you can join called Who Else Wants to See Star Wars Battlefront 3? Maybe it gets big enough someone will finally realize that the game would make truckloads of money if it ever came out. The link is in the description below, so go ahead and check it out there. Thanks for listening to my rant. I'll try to shut up about it now, and I'll see you guys next time.